the larger motor on here. It's just uh, we're on uh, lower speed. First of all, just check that and turn on uh, so you can see that nice and slow. Um, if you're careful, uh, I will have to be careful here. It's got quite a bit of torque, but it is possible to stop it. I don't want to stop the thing for long. Um, and then I can speed it up. So, whatever that speed is, I can't remember now. Um, that's about 90% of its uh, rated speed. And then if I want to get 100, there we go. Let's go slow again. So yeah, it works uh, very effectively. Um, it's a very cheap circuit to make. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, most of these parts you're probably going to have anyway. Uh, potentiometer, a couple of switches there. Um, the uh, 12 volt regulator, well, it depends on what voltages you're using anyway, but I mean, they're really cheap. Um, a 555 timer is like uh, peanuts nowadays. A couple of uh, 4000 series diodes. Um, yeah, super cheap, you know, resistors, super cheap. So basically all of that is like um, pennies. Uh, you probably don't even need these resistors, like I said. Uh, a MOSFET, um, I can't even remember the last time I bought one, but they're cheap, okay. That sort of uh, MOSFET and IRF, what was it, 3205 I think, is not an expensive uh, MOSFET. Um, the diode is probably the most expensive component here, uh, but once again that's not really that expensive and you've probably got these or many of these things um so you know all in something like you know it's a couple of pounds three pounds something like that it's really not expensive um yeah so it seems all right um so well more than all right the circuit definitely works i've had it working for quite a bit i've even had it uh, running this motor on the lathe, actually turning some parts on the lathe, and I did that for an extended period. Um, so the motor then was under load. Um, the heat sinks, well, the uh, MOSFET heat sink was basically didn't maybe it rose a couple of degrees above ambient, nothing really significant. Um, the freewheeling diode, flyback diode, whatever you want to call it. Um, rose probably something like about 10 degrees C above ambient or something like that. It's really, really not hot at all. Contrast that with the uh, cheap Chinese uh, motor controller that I um, originally bought, um, and that got hot. I mean, really hot, and that's probably one of the reasons why it failed. Oh, in actual fact, just seen it, I was looking for it earlier. So, it's staring me right in the face. So, this is the thing. I'll, I'll let you see it so you know what to avoid. This is thing. So you look at all the stuff we've got on there. Uh, my very simple solution, really, which can be made a lot more compact than it is. Uh, this works. This is cheap. This is easy to fix. Uh, this worked for about five minutes. Um, yeah, I don't recommend it. Um, yeah, it's just it's just not worth having really. I think they said claimed that it was going to be rated some like 40 amps or something like that, which I'm a bit dubious about as well. Looking at some of the traces on this, but uh, I mean this got hot. I was initially when it was working, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to stick a fan on there somewhere. I'll stick it in uh, something where I have full air going through there because it, it was getting it was getting very hot. Okay, so um, yeah. Definitely, there's no markings on it, but if you go onto eBay and just search for something like DC motor controller, uh, there's loads of them that look a little bit like this. By the way, um, some of these components actually look, to me, they look secondhand. Uh, it's difficult to see uh, in the video, I think, but it looks to me as though some of these components have actually been desoldered and then reused, um, which I'd say is... Uh, quite likely <laughs> really bearing in mind the provenance of this um, anyway so um, yeah so that's the uh, that's the circuit that's my motor um, and then it's going to be uh, on my lathe in due course and then maybe I'll uh, show you a video of it actually running uh, I say I have had it on the lathe before it's actually worked all right I sort of stripped it all down because I wanted to um, paint up um, some of the framework um, for mounting the uh, motor and also um, I've been turning a new smaller 
uh, pulley which mounts onto uh, this motor as well so I get uh, um, a better torque um, on the lathe chuck. Okay, that's the end of my video then. Hopefully it's uh, vaguely useful for someone.